She's a legend, SNL, we know her so well. She of course made a name for herself with comedy during six seasons on SNL, but in her new movie called Other People, she's showing off her remarkable range. She plays a mother dying of cancer uh -huh. who can still put a humorous spin on things. Take a look. Cremation. No, oh, I'm not gonna, we talked about this. I, don't I, know, know. We, I, know, I know we talked about it, I just wanna. I'm not gonna be burned up, okay? I don't, how would you like it if somebody set you on fire? No, thank you. Well, it's not like they, Light you, you know. I mean, no, you're, I don't you're... want to be lit on fire. I don't like that. I don't like camping, and I don't like fires, and I don't want to be personally lit on fire. No, I want to be frozen. Do they have that as an option? Frozen? Can I f be frozen? You want to be Check frozen? Check the frozen option. Molly Shannon, good morning. Good morning, Savannah. Talk about range. I mean, there are those moments of levity in this, but this yeah. is a dramatic role. It, Full stop. Yes, it really is. I felt so lucky to get this script. Chris Kelly, um, who just became the head writer at SNL, sent this script to me, and um, it's about a, a, a struggling comedy writer who moves home to take care of his dying mother, me. And the script was just breathtaking. I, I, I really cried when I read it, and, and I have two kids myself, I'm a mother, and I just really related to how this mother wants to fight till the end of the earth to just have more time for her kids and what mothers will do for their children and how families deal with loss and it explores, the um, it's a drama, but it explores the comedic elements of the heart and the family dealing with this tra this tough time. And Chris Kelly, who was a writer at SNL, you guys never crossed paths, but he of course knew of your work and as I understand it, he really sought you out because he wanted that unique combination of somebody who could do the dramatic parts of it, but find that humor because it sounds like that was the story he wanted to tell about his own mother. Exactly. His own mother, he said his family was funny and his mother was really funny. So I'm so, I just feel so lucky to get a, such a juicy part like this. Yeah. I'm like, thank you. I just, I feel so fortunate. And you actually have a background in drama, right? You studied at NYU, just like straight drama. You were not a comedy actress no, then. No, not at all. I was a regular actress, and I was always doing dramatic monologues. And even on Saturday Night Live, I always could consider myself more like a dramatic comedian. I would always, I would always do dramatic Mary Catherine Gallagher monologues, like, oh, mama. You know, I, I, I always, uh, I liked drama. Yeah. Uh, but, uh, or drama with comedy, yeah. It's funny because I was thinking, I was reading your background and I realized, oh my gosh, you left SNL in 2001. It feels like yesterday oh you made God. such an impact. Aww. And that has to feel so good to have characters that have withstood the test of time and people still talk about them. It does, Savannah. It feels so good. And I get it. I get it every day. I get it like at the airports or if I'm in the elevator. I'll hear, I was on the elevator at my hotel yesterday and I heard somebody got out of the elevator. They were like, superstar. You know, so, <laughs> so I get it all the time and I, I love it. I feel so lucky. That was, that was a great job for me and such a great break. I saw Lauren Michaels last night. We came to the, he came to the screening and we're still really close. And it was just, it's such a unique show. And I, I feel so, uh, it was just the greatest. And you've made such an interesting career with a lot of different kinds of roles since. You have also a new TV series, mm -hmm. Divorce. Yes. You get to play Sarah Jessica Parker's bestie. Yes. Which I, I would like to be her bestie in real life. <laughs> I know. Tell me about the show. Well, the show is called Divorce, and um, basically I play her best friend, and it explores marriages and people looking at their own marriages, and my particular uh, character is in a very roller coaster push-pull relationship with my husband, who's played by Tracy Letts. It's, the show's excellent. It is so juicy. Sarah Jessica Parker is a delight. I felt like, I feel like a fan who won a part on a TV show. And then she comes on set, I'm like, oh, she's so pretty. She smells so good. And look at her sparkly shoes. She's like everything you'd want her to be and more. I would want to like one click everything that she was wearing. And I love the way they described the first episode. They said like something, something juicy happens at your house and that's where this yeah. whole thing starts. Yes. But I guess you're not going to tell us what that juicy thing is. No, I can't. You'll have to tune in <laughs> in October. We'll leave it there. Molly Shannon, thank and you. And Other People is opens in uh, select theaters this Friday. It does. And on VOD and iTunes as well. And Divorce premieres October 9th, HBO. Molly, what a pleasure. Savannah, Good to see it's you. a pleasure. You look fabulous. <laughs> thank you. My goodness. We're on the path there. Yeah, okay. yeah. Hello today, fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.